All right, just a quick demonstration of that exercise. So you set your metronome up 60 beats a minute and get your chords ready. So you have your one, two, three, and then on beat number four, you're already changing your hand to three, start moving your hand. One, two, three, start moving your hand. Exercise, you get your one, two, three, move your hand. 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 One, two, three, and you're done. So, that's all there is to it. Definitely will help. Uh, getting those chords down and sounding clean as well. Another thing that would be helpful is what I noticed now when you're changing, or what I noticed last night when you were changing the chord, it seemed like you were just moving your index first and then your ring finger and pinky. So what will be helpful is start practicing moving those in unison. So move them all at the same time. So this way when you're playing faster, it'll just going to work a lot better because if you're always doing it like a set of fingers at a time, it's going to take too much time to get into that chord shape when you start to play faster. So start practicing lift your whole hand up and then flip both those fingers at the same time. So practice just go between the D5 <coughs> between the D5 and the A minor here. <coughs> Man, the throat is just full of junk today. So just really focus on getting both sets of fingers to switch at the same time. So you may have to just feel silly for a minute and Watch your hand as everything comes off and switches at the same time. This could very well be one of those instances where you want your hand to do something. You understand what the hand needs to do, but your fingers just don't want to cooperate. It happens quite often when learning things like this. So, give it a try. Hopefully it goes well. But, um, yeah, let me know if you got any questions. And I'll see you again Wednesday.